big. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bigfoot Bass Guy TV. Today we're going back out on Broken Bow. It's cold. We might have slept in a little bit. It's nearly nine o'clock, but it was like 27 degrees this morning and homeboy's not fishing in that. So yeah, I'm not doing that. So we, we let the sun get up a little bit. We're going to go out mainly using live scope. We're going to try to find them doing that. Y'all are going to be with us as we go. We're going to find them, see what we can figure out. I got this goon back with me, Kel Harrison from Kel Harrison's Fishing, hooked up. Uh, what you're at? Freaking hooked up guide service. Harrison's hooked up guide service. I, that, that's a tongue twister for me. <laughs> that's a bad, that's a major tongue twister. Anyway, y'all stay tuned. We're going to head out on the lake and see what we can't get going. So we'll see y'all in a little bit. John Bowling from Broken Bow, Oklahoma. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up. I hate fishing in gloves. Mm. Oh, we got it in both fingers now. I might need the scissors. I don't know if that's going to... On a jerk bait. We saw that bird right there. That's a loon. Loon, yeah. If you see him diving on the same point multiple times, go fish it. Because there is a lot of bait there if he's diving. On fork, when we get down there like in March, that's what we look for is those loons diving. Yeah, dude, look, you can just see them so much better from right here. Yeah. Oh. oh. I'm actually starting to get a little warm in my in my bibs. It's probably starting to cool or warm up in my... I did put on a little more clothes than you did. I have a pair of jeans. I got on long johns, I got on the good old gradient pant, and then I got on bibs. If I get cold, I'm in Alaska. I can't doubt it, really. That wind's just not letting us fish it from this angle. This is the angle they want it from too. It's all about the angle of your dangle, my guy. All right, let's go hit a block wall. I know where they're at. y'all so now we've came to a super super steep wall and these fish what we're seeing from what we've seen at the first spot we've seen one big tree and that fish was holding right on the tree so what that tells us with him holding on that tree is, is they're going to be holding super tight to cover so i'm going to come and fish an area where they don't have to go that far to feed that being said they can sit right out here in 30 foot of water and they can move up about 14 15 yards and they're in six foot so we're gonna find out now there was a big there's a big sunken freaking tree up here the other day and i caught a I caught a walleye on this thing out of that tree Get him in the boat, son. 
that's that's where the tree is numero uno show that show that sucker off to the folks at home back there he ain't a big one but big or small we'll catch them all come on yeah that's that tree <laughs> all right i'm on i'm perfectly fine with that <laughs> just sit there and edit i'm gonna edit while you have a couple cold ones So last time I fished here, they wanted it What's through it? to the bank. Some giants. I mean, big ones. I don't like the sound that this reel just made. Made a oh. metal on metal sound. Nope, spook from it. Got him. There we go. Oh, good lord. They're getting a little bigger. Another jerk bait fish. And they're getting a little bigger. There we go. They ain't big, but they're we finally kind of figured them out. You on one? Well, I don't know what why they're being like that. My dad don't see on spot right oh, dude, you're good. This is actually the angle I think we would need anyway. Look at them bigs in that tree. Holy cow. Okay, so I'm going to kind of talk to y'all real quick about what I was talking about a while ago. So. What I meant by this is if y'all look, this bluff wall falls. I'm going to kind of look up to it. This bluff wall falls really fast. Here's that super large tree right here. Okay. This is what I'm saying. This up here is like about one foot of water. These fish are out here in about 18 foot. They can go from here to there. It's about like probably five yards and they can feed up. Like here's his A rig and here's the fish right there starting to come up to it i mean this is what they this is what they want to be on when the water starts to get cold <laughs> oh, shoot. where'd they go oh no our fish where'd they go oh, there's a big on maglodon down there it's your birthday we're going to party Step up in the club. I'm not finishing that song. That's not kid appropriate. This is a PG-13 channel. Found them. They chased your bait up. Great. Just great. Fantastic. Up, I'm gonna I'm gonna yak one of them one Surprise, of them jokers. Surprise shoddy! Oh yeah, I'm gonna yak one. Where's my A 
bee rig at? Found it. Biggin. Yep. Maybe. Battery's just foul hook. No, it's a big one. I got him. There we go. Little predicament. What? 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 Welcome to Bigfoot Bass Guy TV. Golly. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just playing. All right, so pardon the chaos. A little better, dude. A little better one. He's just really skinny, but that should be a three and a half pounder. But we're gonna call him three. That's a dang good one. Well, y'all seen it happen live, so we're gonna get back to fishing, catch some more of them. Oh, that felt good. I hit spot lock, so. Dude, they're just right on that rock bluff up there. Maybe leaving the one rod back there wasn't a good idea. No, I'd say not. I just creeping it. It ain't. It ain't gonna happen again. Here he comes. It's my earring. Oh, is it? <laughs> Dad gummit. <laughs> Dad gummit. I got my hopes up. I was like, oh, here he is, boys. That's a big one, though, coming to one of them. Yeah. Got him. Go yeah. net. Yeah. Yeah. That'll work. <laughs> we don't do the freaking boat flips only stuff when we're fishing around rock. Uh, dude, yes. Well, we figured it out. I've got that. I've got that freaking thing set slot. When I when there's one that's on there, it's like over four or five. That way, that I don't pop that line. That fish was not. Coming. And I, dude, I was trying to reel it, and it was it wasn't catching. <laughs> that dang drag was so loose. Boy, they stink. Deer in rut. I guess bass are in rut. You still get that out. <laughs> That's a good one, dude. What? I mean, a dang good one. Look at that sucker. He laid it to it. We're having technical, technical difficulties. <laughs> Come on, dude. All right. Made a move. Uh, I'm gonna check my mic real quick. We good. So, sorry about that. I was checking my microphone, make sure it's still hooked up. So, uh, we made a small move to a major main lake wall. They're on the bluff walls. Like, they're on bluffs. We pulled up to the first bluff wall after fishing a main lake point. After not seeing nothing on the point, pulled up to the main lake bluff wall. Actually, that one was in the mouth of a creek. Anyway. And they was on it. We caught three or four, as y'all seen there, maybe a little more. I don't really remember how many we caught. Then we went to that uh, other bluff wall in the main lake, caught two really good ones. So we're just gonna start fishing these bluff walls and see if they stay on it all day or if they start moving around to wood or stuff like that. So uh, y'all stay tuned and we're gonna see if we can't piece this pattern up a little more where we can start catching some bigger fish. We're gonna use it till it dies. I want to swing from the chandelier. You're going to get me saying a chandelier up in this joint. There's one right there. God, they're everywhere, dude. Oh, yeah. Let's catch a tainer with them right here. Welcome to Hocha Town. Throwing rocks in the water since 1969. You know there's one guy out there that's old as dirt now that can say I was the first one to ever toss a rock in that lake. 
<laughs> never be seen again. How about that? Damn, they're like 10 foot from the boat. We need to back up. Beep, 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 quack, quack, beep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna do that duck, that whack. <laughs> <laughs> he hit it. Them, them are jerk bait fish, hundo percent. They're dude. They're only like 15 foot down. I'm gonna pick up the old jerk, jerk, the jerk, jerk paws. I didn't get that jerk bait down. Them are jerk bait fish fingers. Well, they actually dropped. They dropped down the water column. Lampoon's family vacation. <laughs> like in cartoons on the rock falls punk. <laughs> Biggin. That a boy. Crowd and all. That a boy. Do me a favor and hit that thing on that on that camera. Get him, boy. Got, we got the tiki boat coming up on us. <laughs> I was about to say, what is it? Got him. Yep. <laughs> By God, they ain't big, but we found <laughs> what they're doing. <laughs> you gotta catch one for the tiki boat. Hold up, all right, I'm gonna show you how this works. See how this works? You just take his camera, you zoom it way in on him. Five pounder. <laughs> We gotta catch one for the piggy boat. Hurry. Half of those are probably fish catches. Shit, let me get into the fun. We floated off of them. <laughs> They've got that thing loaded down, boy. Now this is gonna be a show right here. <laughs> I hung it. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try to catch one real quick. Catch one, hurry.
Let me cut a rug for him. Do it. No. You won't do it anyway. YouTube, I do not own the rights to this music. <laughs> Good. There goes that tree. Alright y'all, so we're going to go up uh, on the north end of the lake. We're going to fish some main river points, trees, and stuff like that. Um, just to kind of see if they're on that as well. But they are for sure on the steep rock bluffs, so we figured that out. So now we're going to go try to figure out something else to see if they're doing more than one thing. Y'all know like I do this time of year when you figure out what they're doing, that's what you uh, that's what that you need to do, but we don't tend to do that very well. So we're gonna not go try all. to find do what? I said not at all. Oh yeah, not at all. So we're gonna run up the river and get into a little bit dirtier water, see if they're around some main river stumps, timber, and some main lake points up there. So y'all stay tuned for that. Y'all will see me here shortly in about two seconds, where for us it's about a 10 minute boat ride. So y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all, so real quick, we made a quick little pit stop to another big wall, as you can see behind me. I wanted to fish this earlier, but there was a, um, another boat on it, so we didn't fish it. We let those guys have it. So we're gonna stop here real quick and see if there's any on this wall as well, just since it's on our way up north. So since it was on the way, we're gonna stop and hit it real quick. And then we're gonna try to make it up the river, but at this rate, we're not gonna make it up the river. So I'm, I'm gonna get off of here and get to fishing. So let's see if we can't find some on this wall. When you really can't afford for them to break. I bet them are crappie. They didn't even look at it. This thing's gonna sink slower now as I bent them arms out. Did that to make it fish lower though. Big. Big. I mean big. That ain't a catfish. Nope. Net him. Net him. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> that is why Woo! you throw an A-rig in the winter time. <laughs> There's an eight-pounder. That's stud day, buddy. <laughs> There's you one, folks, at home. What you think of that? <laughs> Golly! Give him a thumbnail. Yeah. Oh my lord. Holy shit. Lord almighty, that <laughs> right there is why you creep an A-Rig. I just got through saying, as y'all will hear on that, I bent the arms out on that A-Rig more to make it fish slower. What you know about that? Oh, boy! On that thing. Look at that thing. <laughs> I say eight pounder. <laughs> eight, fourteen was the magic number. That dude right there is a broken bow giant. We're gonna get some footage of us letting this sucker go, 
and that is why you fish on the coldest days of the year right there because these fish put the feed bag on and they straight eat right there once again bluff wall stuff main lake bluff walls they don't have to move far to feed creeping your bait and that's the result fishing right there slow. fishing terribly slow so we're gonna get y'all some footage of us letting this girl go and we're gonna get back after see if we can't get a couple more all right, so we're still kind of shook up about that. Not shook up, but like... In shock. <laughs> I'm like a squirrel just drank a Red Bull right now. <laughs> so we're going to get calm back down and get back to it. But as y'all seen, that was a mega. That's not the only one in that pile either. No, that ain't the only one down there. So we're going to get back to it and uh, we're going to get another one. Let's go. I ain't even turning it off. I know I already did it, but woo! <laughs> I know I done did it. Sorry about your eardrums if I put that in there. Sorry for the headphone users, but that is. I was not expecting an eight pounder today. That pile's not like right out the middle. I wasn't expecting an eight pounder. I mean, I was expecting one at least over like four or five, but the way the lake's been fishing, I wasn't expecting an eight. Cause it's been it's been a numbers deal it ain't been a size thing it's been just to go out and catch like 30 40 fish a day but they're i mean you might have best five for 14 pounds That's, I'm dude we're working on like a 20 pound bag right now i mean granted we do have an eight pounder to help us so <laughs> an eight and a quarter 814 i guess that's eight and a quarter say it again 814 ain't that eight and a quarter yeah okay I need to back out off that, off this. I need to take oh, the boat in crap, and back man, out. I was not, not ready for <laughs> you do that. <laughs> I wasn't ready for it. <coughs> was <thin. coughs> Excuse me. Oh my God. You what? I was just supposed to story. <laughs> Holy cow. What you know about that, big boy? <laughs> that pile's right down here by that rock that shoots out. I also guess I was fishing a different pile then. There's more, than, there's more of them on it. Okay, so we have found some brush piles. I mean, um, we haven't found them today. We already knew they was there, but the thing with these piles is one like i've said they don't have to go that far if they have to feed so they're literally wanting to live out here in these brush piles we just happen to literally roll over one right place right time but that fish was in 32 33 foot of water so it took me forever just to get her up even i mean even though that she was bigger that fish was deep she hit it straight up too like she must have shot i i, I never seen her eat it with live scope she just shot straight out, yeah. straight out and ate right it. There's, I think there's a bigger one in there. I'd like to say there is. Typically, you catch the smallest one first, so. Dude, we was close. We was like 30 foot from it. We're 45 to 50 foot from it right now. I had to tighten my dang drag down. I couldn't even crank her. Where's the pile? I'm going right over it. I've just got it where it's not showing the whole pile, but I did that so it's easier for a CRA rig. Depth ring set to 50. Golly, boy. Dang, son, where'd you find this? Do I? Oh, there's another one. You got one. He ain't near as big now. And he ain't a bad one. Unless he don't, he don't know it's hook, hooked yet. Oh, it's a crappie. Look at the... Dude, dude, John. I brought it up too quick. Yeah. Look at that crappie. John. That's a big crappie. What? How much you think that thing weighs? Oh, it's over two. Oh, his eyes are... 
Oh, he'll be fine once he gets back in water. I'll just have to fizz him. Look at that crappie. Okay. What? What's going on? I've said it before and I'll say it again. Big bass eat crappie. That's what that bass is eating down there. So, we're catching everything today. Wait that, dude. Alright, y'all. That's going to about wrap it up for us today. It's about 4.30 right now. We're about to get off the water and go get us some leftover Thanksgiving food because it is the day after Thanksgiving. We didn't go shopping today like everybody else. We came out fishing. No. I ain't going shopping. But, as y'all seen, started out tough on the main lake point. Didn't really get a, get on them. We had a couple follow some stuff up. Never really got on them. And it, I had a thought in the back of my head. I was like, steep walls. Every, I mean, we are super fortunate to, to live on a lake that's all rock. Super steep bluff walls. And if you're on a lake that, that might not have that, fish docks. Because that's something that they can set up on. We, we kind of figured that out when we seen some fish uh, up in a tree in about 30 foot of water and they were sitting right on the tree. So we kind of figured uh, that out from there. Went to the first bluff wall, caught one first or second cast. And after that, we just, we started adding pieces right into the puzzle, figured them out fairly quickly and uh, caught them on a day when we really shouldn't have caught them that well. Super post frontal, hasn't been a cloud in the sky as y'all can see all day. degrees this morning. Yeah, it was cold this morning. I'll admit, we slept in a little bit. We didn't leave the house till, at, till about eight o'clock. Got out here about nine. Slept in a little bit because it was so cold. But, figured them out. And I'm gonna talk to y'all a little bit about the bait that did all the damage. We caught a couple on a super deep diving jerk bait. But the main deal was an A-rig. I know it's that time of year. Everybody's throwing one using it with live scope. But the deal we figured out earlier in the day was you wanted these wires bent way out. Every single A-rig, there's there is fish literally chasing shad for whatever reason right now. <laughs> but you, uh, pretty much everybody likes these A-rigs bent to where the wires are about here. Today we figured out you needed that wire bent out. I mean, as far out as you could bend it, to make that thing fish slow. I mean, we're throwing slow this. Slow. Yeah, I mean, we're throwing this on a on a six eight to one reel, reeling it as slow as we can. I mean, just how if you think that you're if you think okay, this is like super slow, you need to go slower. I mean, that was the main thing. I mean, do you have anything that you need to tell them like what you kind of think happened? Well, the first of the day they was on the main rod, like on the on the That's wall, good, yeah, on the wall, yeah, like straight on it, and then sun came up a little bit more and they went to the wood on the walls yeah we had found some brush piles off the off the bluff wall and they started hugging that and got more active to me yeah i mean now when we say they was on the bluff wall i'm talking like it looked like a rock but the rock would start moving like it would be the bluff wall and the fish would be up on the wall like it I, i'll be honest I, I they shouldn't be doing it yet i haven't seen them do that this early but look, the water has dropped it was lower 60s three, four days ago. Now it's upper 50s. It's, it's been 57 degrees all day. So the main thing is just don't go fishing in the wintertime and just catch a fish here and go, oh, it's fine. No, that fish is there for a reason. Reason. Watch where you're throwing. Watch what you did when that fish bit and repeat it. Fishing in the wintertime, I'll be honest, it can be tough. But it's not tough if you if you use your head and you figure it out and you put every piece to the puzzle in it. But yeah, I mean, bluff walls. I mean, yeah, it was a grind. But it would, what you think a, a fish every 30, 45 minutes? Probably 30, 45 minutes. Now, once you found them on the bluff walls, yeah, yeah. it was every like every other cast, every five to six casts, you would yeah. catch one. But something that, that I did see is we'd only catch about three or four out of each, each of them, and, and then they would quit. But if you have live scope, do the exact same thing as us. We're not fishing the whole bluff wall. We're, we are going down it and we are gonna take that live scope and look. We're finding where they're at. If you don't have it, it's no big deal. You just have to fish the whole wall until that you get bit. They really, they really keyed on the inlets of the wall. Yes. The little points that come out yeah. and I could swing in. And they, they really keyed off of that. That comes morning. back to paying attention to where you got bit. Because we didn't notice that till later in the morning, probably about 11 o'clock, we noticed, okay, every time we get bit, it's off of a point that's on this rock wall. Or it's off of like, off of, because I mean, it, 
every wall just doesn't run straight. They're gonna kind of go and curve a little bit. The curve don't have to be like a like a small little what would you call it? Like a like a small little creek mouth. Yeah. It, it can just be running and just barely curve in. And why they get in there, I don't know the answer to it. Any transition. Any transition. But I mean, it's just once you figure it out, it's super easy. And we, as y'all seen earlier in this video, we kind of caught them pretty good. But it just comes back to an A rig. I'm throwing mine on a six cents luck, 7-Eleven medium heavy, moderate tip, 40 pound braid, six eight to one reel. Kale was pretty much throwing the same thing, except he uh, he wasn't throwing braid. So I had a 20 pound fluorocarbon. That's what I figured you had. That's what I throw a lot too. I just I don't like throwing a rigs on braid, but I've started kind of wanting to try it here and there. And after the hook set that they're gonna uh, that they've already seen in this video, yeah, I'm probably, probably it probably would have popped my. Life. I'm probably gonna start fishing a rigs with braid more often. But that being said, we're gonna get off of here and get to the house, get some editing done, get us about to eat, because we, we're going out again in the morning. We don't know where we're going in the morning. Might be coming out here, might be going somewhere else. But that being said, thank y'all for watching. Y'all remember to always like, comment, subscribe, share this video, it helps us both out a bunch. If y'all want to go out with me on a trip, that link is below. If y'all want to go out with Kale, y'all can reach him at, I'll let you go through all that so I don't mess it up. Harrison's hooked up, fishing. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, my number's there. Contact me and we'll go. There you go. I just didn't want to mess that up because I would have got <laughs> tongue tied doing that because I'm not used to saying it. But like I said, thank you all for watching. We greatly appreciate it. We're getting off of here. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Later.